I mean, recently the WWE, they just put out a, a DVD collection on The Click, and they're very much a group now that that is glorified all these years later. But you were there in the trenches having to deal with this on a daily basis. And it appears you were, the, you were the wrestler's wrestler that seemed to really stand up. And this was a very divisive group at that time who today, I mean, they're largely praised. Praised by who? Triple H? I think a lot of the audience, I think, just looks at it at a time when they don't know all the, the intricate details of what went on at that time. Yeah, cancer in the dressing room, all of them. And I think they're all, I don't think that Shawn Michaels is sorry for a lot of that kind of behavior. Uh, Kevin Nash uh, was a great wrestler and a good, and a good guy, but I don't think he can be that proud of that uh, association. Uh, it was a, a cancerous uh, environment in the dressing room with those guys, and they did, certainly did more uh, negative than positive uh, harm to the to the business. Scott Hall, all you have to do is look at him. He's a he's a train wreck with his own life, and he. You know, he was a, a malcontent or a guy that, you know, when you were close to him long enough, you, you started to feel the same way he did. You just felt so self-destructive and uh, unhappy with your life and your job and everything. He, he was a guy that was infectious with his bad, bad sort of moods and bad uh, unhappiness in his own life. Uh, it was spread to all the other wrestlers. And, you know, I'm glad I'm not remembered for that kind of stuff. I remember, remembered, I think, if you, if you talk to different wrestlers from that era, the Savio Vegas and the, uh, you know, those kind of wrestlers that were on my cards, they're all pretty proud of how I conducted myself and how I related to them and how I, I may have been the top guy, but I didn't act like a superstar, not to my friends and not to my peers.